Hello and welcome to another Immersive Geology Developer Snapshot. In this snapshot, I'll be going over the changes introduced in the 0.7.0 update. This update adds some new multi-blocks and reworks some old ones, as well as adds in a new feature to help make your factory look more presentable. Let's have a look at some of the new multi-blocks first. These multi-blocks here are the Geothermal Exchanger. All this thing does is it converts water into steam at the moment, and the steam is used to power this other multi-block over here, which is the steam turbine. In order to keep this machine running, however, it needs a small amount of power to power the internal pumps, <laughs> as well as a source of water and lava or magma. Over time, these processes will slowly run the magma and lava source dry, converting it all into obsidian. So, if you have a look here, you can see these ones here have been running for just a little bit of time. It is a slow process, but if you don't keep an eye on it, you will eventually run through the entire little deposit of magma that you've provided it. This machine has support for a recipe in the reverse as well. Currently, it's heating water up by changing it from water to steam, but using a data pack, you could create some custom recipes to change a hot liquid into a cold liquid, and in doing so, actually heat a block up into another form. As of now, however, immersive geology only has the use case for turning water into steam. The steam turbine will convert steam into power, about three times as much power as a single diesel generator will. So let's turn these on. As you can see, we're now converting water into steam, and we're now running. That looks like I might actually be quite full. <laughs> yes, indeed, I'm full on power on this one here. So it will pause the power output, and you won't get as much if you are running uh, short on storage. But regardless, it will generate three full HV inputs worth of power or around about 12,000 FE a tick. This is enough to replace three diesel generators. So, what can we do with this power? Well, one of my new favourite uses for large amounts of power is the rotary kiln. This machine here will take in power and convert that power directly into heat. You can see here I have a recipe for tungsten compound dust, which requires medium heat. So, as you can see, we're actually quite high on the heat threshold, and if you look in the manual, you'll find the rotary kiln will have a new table showing you the different levels of heat that will correlate to the amount of power that you provide it. So, we're currently providing it over 3000 FE a tick, which lands it in the HV tier. However, because the tungsten compound requires MV heat, we aren't actually able to process so, I will just turn the HV power off and turn the MV power on. Now you'll see our heat level will be slowly lowering until we reach the right one. To speed this up, we can turn the machine off and then back on. And now we're processing. The This uh, little control panel is done using the redstone connectors and redstone breakers that immersive engineering has added and we just provide it the different power line for the different tier that we need. And there we go, some nice tungsten oxide. So that's the changes that work with the rotary kiln. Now for some of the changes to the chemical reactor. The chemical reactor now has a geographical user interface and you can see the different fluids in the machine as well as the power, the input materials and the output materials. This is just to help make it a bit easier to work with. That's really all for the changes to the chemical reactor. Now for one of the big features in the 0.7 update, multi-block skins. So I've got the uh, geothermal exchanger. Um, Let's grab the 
Gravity separator. There we go. Gravity separator skin. If I right click it, there we go. This here is a steampunk skin that I created for Wandering Beekeeper, a streamer and YouTuber that I would highly recommend you check out. He creates nice in-depth videos and explores some of the more technical mods in the Minecraft game sphere. Uh, he's been playing uh, with the Immersive Geology ever since I released one of the initial versions for 1.16.5. And I just wanted to show uh, some appreciation for his efforts. And we now have a steampunk skin in his name. <laughs> of course, if you'd like a skin, I'm always happy to make uh, some more multi-block skins for those that help contribute to making Immersive Geology a better mod. So, we have skins as a bug hunting reward. If you find some critical bugs or other issues with the Immersive Geology, you may be able to claim a multi-block skin for your own. Other ways to get it is you can help support me financially on Patreon, or just by uh, being around in the community and helping out with the development of the mod, like uh, Flix. Flix originally helped out quite a lot with bug bounties, finding a few critical bugs as well as uh, quite a few minor other ones here as well. And uh, in doing so, I've uh, managed to convince him, uh, although it took some time, to let me focus on making him a uh, new multi-block skin, uh, which you can find by defeating a witch in a specific acid. Uh, I'll let the players find out uh, which one and how to get it. But yeah, that's uh, about it for this update. Of course, there are quite a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Uh, I worked on the locate command for finding minerals in the world, uh, as well as helping finish up some of the other recipes and things. Uh, I don't know if Nendonite is there. I know Cideride could be around, so let's try and find one of those. Yep, yeah, there it is. So I could just teleport over there. Spectator mode. And we should find some consider right there around here. Yep, yeah, there it is, right there. Consider right or stone. <laughs> so that's about it for this particular update. Of course, there is more to discover, and I hope to show you some more uh, changes in the future. But until then. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever and whenever you are, and I will see you guys next time.